Hey guys, so let's dive into DaVinci Resolve to show you how it's done. So this is the video that I have, a simple push through. So the very first thing, right click, retime controls. And we need to do a bit of speed ramping. So I'll add a speed point here and just drag this like this to increase the speed. Let me zoom in a bit and you know, move it like this. Just increase the speed to a little bit. Now if I hit play, uh, you can see it's very abrupt uh, so you need to smoothen out the curves for that what you have to do is come to keyframes now usually by default the screen will be like this just come and click here and just highlight this and press this one to ease in now press shift on the keyboard and you can just drag it like this to smoothen out the curve. Now if I hit play you can see it's a smooth speed run. Now what you have to do is let's come to fusion. Uh, click on this and come to fusion. The very first thing is uh, let me just move this down. Press shift spacebar and tracker. Press add. And under tracker under operations change the operation to corner positioning. So you get four corners, so I'm going to just place each tracker to the corners of the monitor, like so. Now let's come to trackers and just press this one to track forward and reverse in time. Okay, once the tracker is completed, you bring in this background node and just join to the green input of the tracker. So now you can see that the monitor is a black background. Now you come to tracker under uh, operations. You can see the operator to be over. Change this to stencil. Now if you feel the tracker is a bit out of point, you can come to individual frames and uh, you know just manually adjust the position like so i'll do ctrl c and ctrl v of these two uh, nodes and what you have to do is just pipeline this one to the tracker in this tracker what i'm going to do is come to operations and change the merge to foreground only now if i view this you can see that uh, only the black background is visible now we need to create a bitmap for that control C for the media N control V and this blue input is the mask. So you need this tracker information to the media N. Now if I view you can see that only the monitor screen is visible. So you, we have isolated just the screen. Uh, that's why this step is done. Now we will add in a transform node and so that we can you know move the monitor screen to our liking now from this i will join this to the end of the tracker it will automatically create a merge node now if i view the media you know if i press the transform you know i can individually move the screen like so but as you can see you know it's going outside i want it to go inside the monitor for that what you can do is uh, under from the tracker output just drag and drop to the mask input of the merge. Now if I play with the transform, you know it will go under the monitor. Cool. Now let's do our animation. Before that, come to edit page. You know, I want to mark the points where I want the animation to start and end. So I will press M on the keyboard where I want the screen to just go down. So I'll press M here and then it will start from this point and it will end in this point. I'll mark a M here. Now come back to Fusion, select your transform node, then select spline. And you have the two marker points marked here. Now let's keyframe on the transform. So on the first marker, I'll mark a keyframe on the center. And in the second point, I will just move the center point like so. So you can see there's a nice transition that is happening. Now let's smoothen out this. So just, just highlight these both and press S on the keyboard. Now you need to come to merge, uh, press keyframe on the blend in this frame, go one frame after and make the blend all the way to zero. 
this is done so that you know once we do the transition for the zoom in if we don't do this step you know that uh, the screen that has gone down will still be in the frame so you don't want that so that is why i'm doing the blend zero so almost everything is done now let's do the push in zoom through transition for that let's create one more transform node press add and we'll do the keyframe so come to the beginning of the frame or wherever you like and press keyframe on sender and size then come towards the end and increase the size all the way until it fills your entire screen you can also play with the sender just so that it fills up the entire screen and come under spline and only select the transform to node let me unselect all these you only want the transform to to be selected so just highlight all of this and right click ease in cubic so you get that nice bouncy zoom in if i hit play you can see it will just zoom in like this awesome all right so your transition is complete now all you have to do is you know add in a background video just below your clip so let me come to the edit page once again and just drag and drop your uh, video below like so now you can see that the speed ramp is happening here so you also need to do a similar speed ramp to the video below so that the motion looks uh, constant so let me select the uh, right click read time controls and add in a speed point let's mark a speed point somewhere here and a speed point right here and then just uh, increase the speed for increasing you just drag it like this and make sure you know this speed is almost equal to this value the 1083 so that the motion looks uh, you know similar it need not be the same exact value you know but somewhere around there so something like this it's fine and now you need to smoothen out the keyframe so again select both press ease in and ease out press shift on your keyboard and just drag it all the way like this on both sides so you get that nice smooth curve now you can add in sound effects and sound design to really sell in the effect now i hope this video was helpful to you so if you guys feel stuck in any of the steps do let me know in the comments i'll be happy to answer each and every one of you also let me know in the comments what type of tutorials and transitions you want to see next uh, that's pretty much it for this video for those who don't know i'm fenzer i do travel tech and filmmaking on this channel so if you're into that sort of stuff please consider hitting the subscribe button thank you all for watching and i'll see you all in the next one